This is the classic belly dance move that I call the vertical hip shimmy. If you want to learn it and my four keys for mastering it at hyperspeed, go grab your hip scarf and stay with me. Marhaba dancers, I am Jen Suya helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance. We upload videos every Monday, so subscribe to be sexy, skilled, and smart in your belly dance. The vertical hip shimmy is based on the belly dance move that I call the double hip drop. If you're new to belly dance, you'll want to check that video out so that you can see in detail how that move is done. You can click on the link in the description or on the card, the circle with the eye in it, that'll take you to that video. If you're already familiar with belly dance and the double hip drop, this move, the vertical hip shimmy, is basically that move done very fast, but with four significant differences that keeps it from just looking like a bunch of spastic hip drops. We'll go through it now. Begin in basic belly dance posture with your feet a few inches apart, your knees bent, your hips tucked forward, and your rib cage lifted. Now begin your double hip drop, which is the basis for the shimmy, by bending one knee a little bit more and bringing it back to slightly bent, and then the other knee a little more and back to slightly bent. So we're doing that back and forth. You're thinking of lowering your hip from your rib cage on one side, then lowering your hip from the rib cage on the other. We're going to do that fast back and forth to create the shimmy. Now when you're beginning, you can get this, but a lot of times we don't have the strength to hold that. My quads are working hard, my core is working hard to keep it isolated. And here's the big difference between the hip drop and the shimmy is you have to build strength because otherwise your legs will tend to straighten and you'll go like this, which is the bounce. We don't want to do that. Related to that first key of building strength in your legs and your core to hold the shimmy is stamina. You have to be able to hold this for a long time, which means keeping a bent knee, taking your weight a little bit to the back, but still keeping some on your toes, pulling up out of your rib cage, and relaxing in here as you let the hips go. Again, one way that has helped me a lot is to hold my ribs, relax my shoulders, and think of letting those hips go by themselves. So our keys are strength and stamina. The third one, also related, is the isolation. In order to keep from bouncing again, we keep bent, lifted, so we can isolate the move. It can feel really tense to hold this thing, so you want to keep your shoulders dropped. And the fourth and most significant key is the timing of the shimmy. To really look amazing is to have the illusion of the shimmy, the up and down movement, matching the beat of the music. So we can count it. You can check out our other videos on counting the music but we can count it by breaking a beat into fours and at first practicing this move slowly, just like on the double hip drop. I'm gonna count like this, one E and a, two E and a, with the numbers being on the beat. So at first you can take one hip drop with a beat and one hip drop with the and. I'm gonna say the little stuff in between. So I'm gonna say one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's the way you practice it slowly to get your timing down. When you get bored with that, when you can hold your um, posture correctly, and feel somewhat relaxed, double that time so you're hitting the beat and the offbeat with one hip. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, downy, 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 downy. When that's fast, you're gonna double your time again to hit the one E and a, all with one hip, like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now this is gonna seem really boring and tedious because most of us just wanna dance. 
But in order to really level up and become spectacular at it, you practice it only as fast as you can and still keep a precise movement. Now, sometimes you can go and just shake it up because you just want to get your yaw yaws out. But when you're trying to level it up, take it slowly, hit the beat with one hip, then the beat and the off beat with one hip, then the beat and all the little quarter beats with one hip. Let's try it together counting. Here we go. In your bent knees, keeping nice and lifted, we're going to go, we'll start with one and, and then one and, and then one e and a. Uh. Ready? Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and three e and a four e and a one e and two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a now let's try the one and on just one hip so that other one's still going but we're counting with the one hip like this one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a and now let's hit all four of those one e and a with one hip same tempo same rate you can check out our um you can check out our video on musical terms if you feel like what's she saying with that so here we go, ready and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So I'm working really hard now, but trying to hear the rhythm in my head. So I'm thinking of pulling in and up relaxing. I can seriously feel it in here. I feel like I'm getting tense and going forward, so I'm going to move back a little bit. I'm going to lift, <sighs> smile, getting a seriously good workout, and whew, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's basically it. Now to do it at hyper speed, I can do it super fast. Now I'm not going to try to count, but my body has built up some muscle memory with taking it really slow. So here we go. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. I want you to do it with me. Bending, keeping those knees bent to isolate the move forward. And, and I'm trying to smile, trying to lift. Shake, 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 shake. Now I'm not letting my legs straighten because that would turn it into a different move, different shimmy. This is a bent knee vertical shimmy. Okay, let's try it with Drummer Bob for some fun. the belly dance vertical hip shimmy. Hey dancers, if you found value in this, smash the like button and share it with your friends. And question of the day, which part of this move did you find the most difficult? Leave your answer in the comments below. And watch next, the belly dance break on the double hip drop so you can perfect your technique and then give it practice with a belly dance workout. Masalama, we'll see you on the next video.